Joining us now as we flip the page to BYU football is our good friend Steve Kafusi, coach of the defensive line at BYU. Coach, welcome back to Studio B. Thanks for having me. So your life is certainly anything but boring right now. Uh, you're watching your son Corbin play basketball for BYU. Bronson's at the Senior Bowl getting ready for the NFL draft. Oh, and you're supposed to recruit as well. So what do you do with all your free time? Uh, here with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, there's always work to do, but... Uh, you know, I love you guys, man. That's why I'm here today. So let's get this going, and then I got to hit the road again. Okay. <laughs> okay. What, what was the process like at the end of the season when you're not sure if you have a job at BYU, yet you are the one guy retained? What was that like for you? Uh, it's always uh, nervous wracking, you know, just, you know, family wondering, and uh, you know, everybody else is worried, and, and I, myself, of course. But, uh, yeah, you just kind of hope for the best and see what happens. When did you know you were staying at BYU? Uh, I don't think I knew that until, gosh, when was it? Uh, when, I can't remember. Was it two weeks ago or a week ago? They had that little thing on the paper. I was out recruiting. That's when I heard about it. So Some, you were recruiting not knowing if you still had a job? That's right. <laughs> that's pretty loyal yeah. uh, to be able to keep doing that. So, so now you're on this staff. Um, how many times have you guys all been in the same room together? Uh, a few times, you know, we had a big recruiting weekend last week and, uh, you know, families and the, the recruits were in town. So we had a few meetings together. But other than that, you know, we were scattered again. One Sunday they left home, the recruits and parents went home and then we, some of us had flights out. And so uh, we haven't met yet. We'll probably Friday because we got another big group coming in. So is that weird? I mean, like, you're the new coaching staff, but in the midst of this, you guys are all scrambling to make sure you get the best players possible at the same time, right? Yeah, you know, you're trying to hold on to uh, the recruits that you've already offered and uh, some of the kids that we're, you know, we're at the 11th hour now and we're holding on to uh, some of them and trying to see if we can get other kids come here. Yeah, change their mind from other schools, yeah. Speaking of big recruits, and big being the operative word, last year, thanks largely to you, BYU helped themselves steal the national spotlight on National Signing Day by signing six foot seven, four hundred ten pound Mo Longy, and now he's on a mission. Do you have any update on him? How he's doing? What's what's going on with his LDS yeah, he, mission? Yeah, um, he, you know, he emails me uh, occasionally, and you know, I got an email for him. And usually, my questions back to him was, "Hey, how much are you weigh nowadays?" <laughs> 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 you know, we had specific things we talked about. You know, he's got to do, and uh, and uh, so over the past year, you know, he's little you know he's gaining weight um uh, you know so i kind of jump back on him and say hey you know I'm, uh, you know from your action right now you know you you're telling me that i don't know how bad you want this you know so you know he gets back to me sorry coach i promise i'm gonna do it you know okay okay i'm just gonna sit back and watch and see what happens <laughs> so he's in phoenix coming up on his year mark i think right uh and yeah. he's gained weight so do you have any uh, tips for him to tell him Maybe yeah, go short, it, maybe go long sleeve uh, in the sun or I something? I probably need to remind him little things I told him. You know, you can lose weight just literally drinking two cups of water, you know, before you eat, all, you know, every time. And so. I didn't know that gets, one. Not that I need you, that You one. don't need it. Yeah, you don't need yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> that's a good one to know. Yeah. I, I need for, it. For, I asked him for a friend. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you know, that's just one of the little tips I, I yeah. told him. To, hey, just just drink lots of water before you eat and, you know, that'll get full fast. <laughs> So now as the, as the lone holdover from uh, the Bronco Mendenhall staff now to the Kalani Sitake staff, and I know you haven't had a ton of time together, what differences or changes have you noticed in, in one recruiting and just kind of the, the whole coaching atmosphere and philosophy? Uh, good question. Um, gosh, I don't know if I can answer that all the way, you know, but, uh, you know, we're doing the same thing, you know, Coach Men, when Coach Mendenhall was here and uh, the coaching staff, we know we're out recruiting just like – we did back then. Uh, I think the difference was, uh, you know, a lot of our recruits weren't sure who the coaches, new coach is going to be, who are the position coaches, who's going to coach them. And so that's something that we're looking at that they need, whoever the position coach is, if they're hired, they need to get out to, uh, you know, that specific recruit. You know, if you're a wide receiver coach, you know, then we need to get Ben Cahoon you know, to get there uh, so they can establish a relationship. Again, at the 11th hour, you know, we're right there, but what do you do? That's that's the best you can do. Mm. What have you seen that Kalani T Satake does really well so far? Uh, you know, he's a player's coach. You know, he's, um, 
you know, he likes to, um, I don't know, you just, you know, you feel a little comfortable, you know, when, when uh, talking to him. Uh, you know, he, he was a former player here, and I can relate to, you know, uh, a lot of the kids and also to our fan base uh, because he's been here, done that, and he's been out there and, and proven himself, you know, to come back here and be the new head coach here. Um, but I, I think you know, we'll spend more time together with him. We'll get we'll get to you know a uh, better feel for him and what he wants to get accomplished. Did you keep your current office or did you upgrade? Mm. Um, <laughs> I just I still got my little box over there, <laughs> the <laughs> same one. Box. I have been gone, so I don't know. They might move me. You know, <laughs> yeah, Ben might have moved me somewhere else. You know, I mean, he's been around here, so I haven't seen uh, Ben yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what's What's it like to have, uh, you know, this whole new staff in there, including, you know, Ty Detmer uh, among the guys? Uh, I'm excited about uh, the new coaching staff and, you know, especially for Ty. You know, he had other opportunities to coach before, but, uh, you know, he's a family man, and uh, that was important for him to stay home and, and be with his, his kids. And, uh, you know, he felt like it was the, it's the right time. And uh, so I'm excited to work with him. And, he, you know, he's just, uh, I don't know the right word. He's a wizard. You know, he's going to be an offensive wizard. That's what he is, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's been playing football, you know, since he was little, but, you know, in Texas. You know, he was probably born and football was handed to him. <laughs> uh, but a great guy, you know, great individual uh, as a person. And I know he's going to do great. BYU defensive line coach Steve Kafusi joining us in Studio B on BYU Sports Nation. You have a big recruiting group coming in uh, this weekend, and I know it's the last push to, to try and get the best roster that you possibly can. Mm -hmm. Walk us through what those recruits do when they come on an official <clears throat> visit. Like, what, what are the activities and, and what's the timeline like for them? Well, typically we do a lot of eating. Uh, because, you know, recruits, you know, want to make sure they don't go home and complain to the parents, say they didn't feed us enough. You know? <laughs> they especially can put the it down, too. Yeah, especially the big guys, you know, they can eat. So we make sure they have plenty of food and snack around. And, uh, yeah, but they get here and, and uh, you know, we want them to feel something different here at BYU, you know, the, the BYU experience. Um, and there are recruits that have been on campus, and uh, there are recruits that haven't, haven't been here. And uh, especially with the parents, you know, so uh, we try to make sure that we um, answer all the questions and uh, and have, you know, and had a, a great experience here, seeing everything and leaving here with that. You know, we hope that they felt something here different from, you know, other places. And so, um, yeah, so you hope they leave here. We've answered all their questions and making sure that they. See, this is where their son's going to be. You know, the maybe compare it to the other experience they had in other schools they've already been to, and so uh, yeah, it's a special place here. So you want to make sure that they feel that. There's normally like a fun activity. Plus, you, I think they're going to the basketball game or something. Paintball yeah. in the past, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. snowball yeah. bowling. Yeah, you know, this yeah. past week, you know, guys went bowling. You know, over here, fat cats, and there was some good competition and. <laughs> Yeah, I feel sorry for the floor there. You know, there was. <laughs> there's got to be some dents on that wood Seriously. floor. You know, they probably had to do some work over the week, get ready for the next batch coming. You know. I can't imagine the waiver but, you guys uh, have to sign the next time you go there. Yeah, but you know, we, uh, yeah, those guys, uh, you know, they take a day and uh, hour and a half, two hours, they go up and you know, some a lot of them have never snowmobiled before, so they get to do that a little bit up here, Sundance. Very cool, especially now, uh, Sundance yeah. going on. Uh, what are you seeing from Corbin on the basketball court? Man, I just like to see them, you know, win. We got to get some wins here, you know, so we can get to uh, uh, March Madness. Uh, but, yeah, we watch him and, uh, you know, we always say, hey, did you have fun? Win or lose, you know, and uh, you know, sometimes he feels down and sometimes excited. I can do better, you know, but – um, yeah, you just encourage them, you know. Uh, win or lose, you continue to encourage your kids. And, you know, he's still a kid to me. So, uh, yeah, you just encourage him to do his best. Yeah. He got his jumping ability from you, right? <sighs> man, you better be careful there. <laughs> My wife's got to listen to this. You're in oh, trouble, yeah. man. Michelle, Michelle get up. Yeah, yeah. Michelle, yeah Michelle, Michelle's got the hops okay. in the family. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 If you haven't Michelle. seen the Kabuzi commercial <laughs> with enough. us, Michelle is Th there you go. number one. I She's think, the elite the eater as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. 
<laughs> That's right. Yeah, it doesn't show, but hey, whatever. Is Corbin totally done with football? Like, or is there a chance he could play football later? Never know. You know. Uh, yeah, I would love to have him come back. He, you know, we're I'd love to have him uh, come and, and help us. So we'll see what happens here at the end of the season. But it would be fun to, uh, you know, if that's something he wants to do. Yeah. So we'll see. Bronson, your other son, who is graduated from BYU. Oh, yeah, now, that guy. Is preparing for the NFL draft. He's at the Senior Bowl. And according to multiple reports yesterday, he's been doing very well in drills and people are high on him. What advice are you giving to him during this week? Uh, I wish I could show you my, you know, my text to him, you know, just encourage him, you know, and, and remind him, uh, you know, little things, you know, from pad level to, you know, using your hands and separate you know just defensive line talk uh, but we um yeah i'm just so, so excited for him and uh, i want him to do well out there and and uh you know just to see him he's worked so hard to get to this point and this is it i mean this week we'll, we'll uh literally kind of put him in position you know does he slide up you know down and uh, you know the nfl coaches have had a chance to see what you know there's a lot of them that never heard of him you know and so they get a chance to you know know who he is just by his work ethic and the way he you know he's going through the drills do coaches um you know and maybe they haven't done this and they will but when they call you will they ask to talk to coach or dad uh coach yeah i don't, I don't amazingly think amazingly biased think, <laughs> I, I don't think any nfl scout wants to talk to the dads you know you know parents you know they yeah. always like to <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a long. It's gonna story. be a weird conversation. Yeah. yeah, well, it'll be long, you know, and it gets boring. What is he doesn't not do well? <laughs> uh, nothing. I think he's pretty good. At everything well. He's Should perfect. Probably go he's first. Perfect. First round and uh, buy my next house. <laughs> yeah. Steve, been great to have you. We appreciate the uh, you cutting out some time in your very busy schedule. So whether you're watching basketball or coaching Bronson on the phone or recruiting, go get him done, man. Hey, thanks for having me.